Hi there, welcome to Crack Concepts. Today we'll be working to show the top end and bottom end values together at once in our sheet. To break down the question a little, you're basically asking, show me in one graph the top performers and the bottom performers. So for this purpose, we'll be using parameters and sets and it's a really interesting topic. So let's go. I am going to use customer ID and profit bar graph for this purpose. So let's first plot a simple bar graph. Customer ID, sum of profit, bar graph. So we'll work with parameters. But first, let's give it a little color and beautify it. So profit on color. Now we have a colored graph. So we'll get to work on creating a parameter. Let's right click over here and go to create parameter. Here I'm going to name it top end. Our profit is in the form of float so we'll leave it as that. We can change the current value based on what we need. So we'll start with one. We need to give a minimum and maximum value. So minimum value would be one. Basically what we are saying is how many top end parameters can you show? So if you want to show 10, 20, 30, how, as many as you wish to show in one graph, make sure that that's your maximum size over here. So I'm going to go with 30 and okay. Drop down arrow, duplicate. And now we are going to change this to be our bottom end. So we'll go to edit, bottom end. Again, float and everything remains the same because if we want to show bottom 30 values, then we'll need 30 to be our maximum. So again, okay. Now we are going to display these parameters over here. Let's go to top end. Show parameter, bottom end, show parameter. So right now you have to drag it to increase its value and it's increasing in points because of course it's a float value. So now let's change it a little for ease of access. Click on the drop down arrow, type in. Again, do the same thing, type in. Now you can simply type the number of n values that you want to display and that's it. However, it's not working right now because there's no relation between top end and bottom end and the visualization that we're working on. So let's create the relation. For this purpose, we are going to create a set on customer ID. Let's go to customer ID, click on the drop down arrow, create set. Here we are going to go to top by field top 10 para not top 10 parameters by profit sum. So what's this thing? Show me the top 10 par parameters of sum of profit, which would be interesting, but we are making this kind of interactive. So we'll simply give this a parameter that is show me the top n values by sum of profit. So as in when we'll change the value of top n, it would change here also. We have basically described a variable over here instead of a constant. Let's change the name. Top n set. Okay. Once again, let's copy it or duplicate it. Go in and edit set. This time around, it's a bottom end set, so name it that. And by field, bottom, bottom end, and everything remains the same. So let's click OK. However, we do not want these two coming into our visualization separately. So we'll merge the two of them. Go to top end set, click on the drop down arrow, Create a mindset and let's name it T and NB. You can name it anything you want. So 
here we have we already have top and set let's go over here and select bottom and set we want members from both the sets so make sure it's a full join and click ok now we have the set that we actually want to use this set would function as our filter and here you have it the top five and the bottom five let's go over here and sort it to make the visualization a little better now you can change these values any way you want i want to see the top 10 values and the bottom 10 values and that's how you do it and that was it from our side thank you for watching crack concepts if this video was helpful to you please consider subscribing to our channel